So here we have the Vivo T1 Pro and uh, let's go ahead and first boot this one. So if you have bought the new phone and you don't know how to set up your new phone for the first time, so this video will help you. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give this video a like and also share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. So this is Vivo T1 Pro. It comes with 66 watts fast charging. It's really slim and very nice to hold. It also has the Snapdragon 778 5G inside which is really fast and should do the tasks really well. So let's go ahead and first boot this one. So I have turned on the mobile. So once you have turned it on for the first time, this is the screen you'll see. So first thing you want to do is to select the language. So whatever country you are in, so English United States or India or any other country that you are in, just go ahead and choose the language. Right now for the demonstration purpose, I'll just select the default one which is English United States and if you have got eyes problem, reading problem, you can just go ahead and select the auxiliary setting for reading. So if you want to increase the font size, you can just do it right over here. So let's go ahead and tap on start here. So I have not inserted the SIM yet and there is no uh, nothing that I have done. This is out of the box fresh. So select your location. I'm in India. I'll select the India. If you're in any other location, you can just go ahead and select that location. Tap on next. I agree to the user agreement. You have to agree. There is no other choice. And there is also the terms and conditions here. Privacy terms you have read and agree. So just tap on tick mark and then tap on next. So again, there is e-warranty card privacy terms. You can go ahead and read this one or you can just go ahead and agree with it and tap on next. Send usage and diagnostic information. You don't have to send your usage and diagnostic information to help Vivo to improve other products and services. They'll do that with other phones. So I would suggest you do not tick mark this one. So just disagree and tap on next. So it is not mandatory, right? So you can connect to the Wi-Fi right over here if you have got home Wi-Fi. I have the office Wi-Fi here I'll just go ahead and connect to the internet you can skip this one and set up offline so if you don't have the internet access right now just go ahead and tap on set up offline I'll just connect to the internet and come back so once we have connected to the internet or even if you have skipped the step this is where you get getting your phone ready so we will have to wait a bit let me reduce the brightness so it takes a while because it is setting up since I've connected to the internet. So here we are with the next step, that's to copy apps and data. So if you have got any apps in your Google account, you can just download it here. It automatically does so that you have to sign in right now with the next step. If you have uh, uh, got no data and you are setting up all fresh and uh, you don't even have the Google account, or maybe say you have the Google account, you just go ahead and tap don't copy, right? If you have got the data, you want to transfer apps, photos, contacts, and your Google account, everything, just tap on next and set up. So if you don't have, just go ahead and tap on don't copy because we are setting up all fresh. We can then later sign into the Google as well. So I'll show that just in a moment. As you can see with the brand new mobile here, there is very less battery but we don't have to worry since it has the fast charging right so here's the google sign in account i highly recommend that you sign in with the google account and then tap on next even if you don't have the google account you have the uh, step to continue again with the skip step here you can just tap on skip and continue with setting up your phone but i have the google account even if you don't have just tap on create account and create a new account with the internet connection for any reason you don't have any google account you can just go ahead and skip and start using the phone so i have the google account i'll just go ahead and sign in and come back so if you want to back up your data right from this phone to google account you can just enable this one otherwise you can uh, disable it as well but when you have signed into your google account and i highly recommend that you enable this one switch on this one and you don't have to switch on the use location feature you don't have to allow scanning as well send usage and diagnostic data for google you don't have to do that so you can switch off these two and switch on the backup to google drive so once you have done that and just go ahead and tap on accept so this is what i do and once i have done set unlock method so there are three types here three options screen lock you can select the pattern you can create the fingerprint here you can set up the face lock and unlock feature as well so we will first go ahead and set up the fingerprint right over here itself so just tap on fingerprint and you have to create a secure pin so i have set the pin here 2580 i'll tap on next one so enter your numeric password again so two times you have to enter to confirm and once we have confirmed this one start inputting so fully cover the fingerprint icon with your finger. So there is optical fingerprint reader here. So I just have to tap on start input. I have read the privacy agreement and then tap on agree here. So once I've done that, 
I'll just go ahead and keep tapping until it finds it properly and tap on OK you can add another fingerprint as well so you have that option as well so there is face unlock feature you can set up the face unlock similarly and you can also set the screen lock we will go ahead and tap on next we will just tap on leave and get reminder so you have to review additional apps these will be downloaded over Wi-Fi it says let's tap on OK getting your phone ready so here recommended service from vivo so these are vivo services earlier we have seen services from google which you have to enable or disable here's the recommended service for vivo you can enable the nano music player you can enable the personalized recommendation if you want or you can just turn this thing off that is smart upgrade so if you've got any new upgrade automatically it will download and install you have to enable this one permission for system apps okay then let's just tap on next so there are two options here to set up home screen if you prefer this three button navigation back home as well as recent you can use this one or you can use the gesture navigation as well so you can learn the gestures right away here and start using it so there are uh, two options here based on your preference you can select that right so we will go ahead and use the standard three button navigation so let me tap on next here fun touch os congratulations your phone is ready so tap on use now and it should go to the home screen so this is the first home screen that we are seeing of the vivo t1 pro and there is a lot of improvement in terms of fun touch os recently so this is the first boot up of the vivo t1 pro let's quickly go ahead and check out the about phone and storage here how much storage we have got so we are in the settings and we will quickly move to the about phone let's check the system update obviously there will be some system update here with a lot of improvement with respect to camera so make sure you install this and then you start using the camera right so i'll just go ahead and tap on download install so let it download via wi-fi so here's the about phone fun touch os 12 version with 2.4 gigahertz snapdragon 778g octa-core processor ram is 8 gb plus 4 gb virtual so that's uh, 12 GB of RAM, Android version 12, phone storage 128 GB and taking back let's quickly open to the camera here, user interface. So this is the camera user interface that you see, you just have to agree with the terms and conditions and there is this new mood here and the sound is also quite unique on how it sounds while using the zoom function, the texture, the font size used is completely changed so there is photo portrait night there is a bunch of options which will be looking in other videos i'll make separate video about the camera settings camera tips and tricks and other features related videos of this phone so if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button watch other videos of this vivo t1 pro guys that's it in this video i'll see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye